Yeah, g'day crew. Um, about to take off and do a little mission. Uh, need a couple of uh, these things. Can never forget those things when you go on for a little flick. Uh, today's little session is going to be trying to catch some gold bars on the flats. See how we go. A lot of people catching them lately. I don't want to be the one to miss out. So hopefully, a bit later on, I've got something to report and um, give you guys a look at. All right, see you soon. All right, guys, so I've just rocked up to the, uh, the spot I'm going to try for these goldies. I'm running two rigs today. I'll show you them. First rig I'm using is a bait rig. I'm going to try and use this one first just to get onto a few for a feed. Then I'll have some fun on the on the top waters. Anyway, I'm running a um, a running rig with a one eighth sinker, two long shanks. Um, they're just the standard size six uh, mustard blood bloodworm hooks. Um, that's only it's on a eight pound fluorocarbon trace. That's with the snoods and the the leader. That's leading to. Um, six pound um, Daiwa J braid and I'm using a little Stratic today, a little baby Stratic, little 1000 and it's the dual, the Shimano dual uh, one to four kilo stick. That's with the bait and um, with the the top water I'm going to be using, I'm going to be starting with a bent minnow. I'm just going to trial the bent minnow um, it looks great skimming across the water. It's the same colours as what the prawns will be feed, uh, the whiting will be feeding on out here. Um, good looking colours. Just running a four pound leader with a little loop knot to the to the bent. Um, gear I'm using it's a Zodius, the ultra light in the older model now, um, and I'm also using the the twin power little 1000 so that's a really nice um, reel to to cast with and it's uh, very very smooth so see how we go we'll talk soon report back and uh, hopefully yeah like I said before we'll get some footage it's a bit low tide at the moment so I'm just waiting for the tide to come up and away we go cheers today these fellas Whoop. gold bars give them a quick measure uh, 31 31 is a good start excellent 31 really good start second cast. We'll see if we can get a couple more. We'll change to the lure. When I'm wading the flats I, I like to carry a, um, a catch bag, bait in one pocket, fish go in the other. Just makes life easy. You don't have to cart fish back to the, the bucket every time and we might be in here for a little session. Yeah, fish on but this feels like a small one. Uh, just wasting bait on these ones. That's not what we want. What are you? You're a baby salmon trout. Alright, you can go back. Always a good idea with yellowfin or any whiting really to keep the bait moving. Whiting seem to like a bit of a, a moving bait or artificial. 
usually brings on a, a bite or a, a nice hit, getting a little hit now, but that feels also again a little bit small. Oh, he's off. He's off. Bugger. That felt like a bit better whiting. That is a bugger. They're not afraid to take a bigger hook for their size. There's a baby flathead. Southern blue spot. You can tell that it's a uh, obvious blue spot with the um, nice dot at the back of the tail there. We'll let this fella go. <sighs> Testing times. No shortage of fish. see them. But there's a school there. They just need to hit it before they small ones do. Got one. Got a smally though. Another flathead. Did I just catch you? Like one minute ago? Did I just catch you mate? Just small ones already. No good. Undersize. Look at that one. Gee whiz. Baby. Target species. Wrong size. Little fish again. I'm just feeding them. Oh, here we go. This has a bit more weight to it. Looks like this is a gold bar. Oh, here we go. This is better. Let's have a look at you. Jeez, I did my best to lose it then, but there we go. Second one of the day. I won't measure him, he's well and truly 30. That's a nice fish. Oh, what do you know? I escaped the little ones and found one. Alright, see if we can't get one in this little patch there. Likely looking area. Tap. Oh, that was a better bite. Hell, here we go. Come on, take the second bait. If there's any there. Oh, little ones. First bite was really good. Yeah. Now we're back into the littles. No. These um, size 6 mustard bloodworm hooks are really um, being sticky today, getting hooking everything that's uh, 
seem to be biting all these undersizes. Yeah, I'm very impressed with these mustards. Let's see if we can't turn this one into a nice fish though. All these small bites. We want the big ones. hundredth undersized King George Whiting today, yeah. Good fish, good little species. Flatty for the day. Look at that. Head flatty. This one, I reckon. I'm not going to risk it. Come on, over. Oh, it's a good fish. Yes, he's a ripper. Have a look at that one. Jeez, get on. Thank you. Alright, guys, there's a bit more water. Now the tide's in, so I'm going to come and use a lure on the flats now. There's not too much water, but we're still going to give it a go. I mean, these gold bars, they can be swimming in anything from, you know, waist high down to ankle deep like this. So we're going to give it a go anyway. Hopefully the fish are here. Anyway, let's give it a go. We'll cast with the wind and bring it back. fish are around, they don't mind it like this, but the fish have to be here, and this is pretty shallow water, so we'll see how we go, give it a, give it a crack, we have got onto a few so far, which has been good, with the bait, now it's a bit of fun on the lures. So just came back from the, the flats, still very, very shallow down there, so decided to come back out here, out to the, uh, the part where I caught the other yellow fin. I'm going to use this sugar pen now, it's got the atomic stingers on the back, uh, it's the HF 119, got a size 16 little treble on the belly, it's done with the loop knot. 
I'm going to cast with the wind and see if we can't pick up a, a gold bar where we uh, got them on bait. So with the sugar pens I like to continuously flick it, just keep flicking it, unlike the bent minnow. Every, every sort of lure has a different action, but yeah, if you can keep this one moving, sugar pens on top, see if we can't get ourselves a, a fish on top water. All right guys, just wrapping up the session from the gold bars that I was chasing today. Uh, sort of successful, sort of not. Battery ran out of the GoPro there when I was starting to flick the lures. Uh, got a bit of footage, not too much. Uh, it didn't really matter in the end. I got one baby salmon trout on the bent minnow. Uh, nothing took the sugar pen in the end, so no harm done really. Did get a couple of uh, gold bars though on the bait, so bait sounds like a dirty word, but really bait is still king. And you'll get more fish more often than not on bait. And um, yeah, we got them today on the prawn meat. So yeah, overall what we get, baby flathead, uh, King George whiting, Little gold bar, salmon trout, tommies, a bit of a mixed bag all under size, and then we got the three of the uh, the yellow fin whiting as well. To, uh, so that was good. Be able to take home a little feed. But yeah, all in all, it's good to get out the house, have a couple of beers, and hopefully next time we can get onto some more fish. That tide just didn't come in in the end. Um, she was a bit. Still a bit low on the flats here, so not much we can do about that one. Alright, see you next time guys. Ciao.